Today we are going to be working with skills try 12 and 13, is that correct? Yes. Okay. 12 says write flow proofs establishing congruence of triangles. So let's start by refreshing what you guys just tested on your skill quiz. If I'm given triangles like this, and I'm given information like, for example, AB is congruent to BD and angle ABC is congruent to angle DEC, and I want to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. The normal format for this format for doing a proof like this would be called a what? Two column, Two column proof. That's what you're familiar with. Do you agree? Yeah. Why had you get the back? Oh. <laughs> so let's write this proof out in a two column proof format. What will I write as my first statement? Uh, a, B is congruent to A. Okay, good. Segment A, B. Is congruent to segment ED. And what reason will I put for that? Yeah. Good. Alright, second step. A B C is congruent to Reason for that. Also here, boy, this one's easy so far. How many pieces of information do I need to be able to prove two triangles are congruent? Three pieces of congruent information. I've only got two given to me. So there's a third one hiding there somewhere. Well, it's um, angle BCA and angle BCE Okay, so I'm going to skip a step here. I'm going to say what you said. Angle BCA is congruent to angle BCD. And what reason is that? The definition of vertical angles. Uh, but the definition of vertical angles says they are vertical angles. It doesn't say they're congruent. Could you do uh, angle C is congruent to angle C reflexive property? No. And the reason because C is an ambiguous case. We don't know which angle we're talking about. Is it this on the left, this on top, this on the right, or this on the bottom? So we actually can't use C to describe this angle. We could say angle A is congruent to angle A by reflex, so that'd be great. But because it's unclear which angle we're talking about, we can't even use angle C in this particular case. Could you say it's vertical angle C? Excellent. So the reason for this is if vertical angles, then congruent. And the fact that our conclusion is congruent matches perfectly with the fact that we've said they're congruent. But Aaron, what's our problem here? Uh, we don't have Defined that BCA and BCD are vertical angles. Excellent, which is what Miles was getting at. If we use the definition of vertical angles, we'd say that angle BCA and angle ECD are vertical angles. Once we've said they are vertical angles, we can say that because they're vertical angles, they're congruent. Wait, why did you say, uh, you just rearranged the proof, the proof? Um, no, I haven't stated the proof yet, is that what you mean? Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't finished yet, I've only presented my three pieces of information. Now let's mark those three pieces of information on the picture, because I think that's what helps in these cases. AB is congruent to BD. ABC is congruent to DEC. And then we just used vertical angles to state that these two angles are also congruent. Looking at that picture, what situation do we have? What three-letter description will we use? Sex. No. A. 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 S. But wouldn't that be the vertical angles that we're saying before? Like the C is reflexive. Yeah, but my point was we can't call it C. We have to call it 
B, C, A. Could you say B, C, A is, oh, well, that's how Then it wouldn't be reflexive, yeah. exactly. So you're on the right track, but we have to use vertical angles to get to the front reflexive. So A, A, S is what we've got, and it's working from both sides, which is what we look for. Is A, A, S one of the theorems that proves two triangles are congruent? Yes. It is. So that gives us license to then say what we're trying to say here. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BEC. And what's my reason? AAS. Done. Five. Got that. I totally see how that works. Four. One little piece in there might have thrown me, but otherwise I get this pretty clearly. Three. I couldn't do this myself, but I follow your logic. Two, I'm having troubles. One, I don't get this proof thing at all. Okay, good. Three's enough. Okay, hands down. Uh, 